Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. Pretended for Chicago police uh, and Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel. They held a news conference after that. Angry and upset. Press play. Do I think justice will serve? No. Where do I think justice is? I think this city is still old an apology. And, and let me digress for a moment. When I came on this job, I've been a cop now for about 31 years. When I came on this job, I came on with my honor, my integrity, and my reputation. If someone accused me of doing anything that would circumvent that, then I would want my day in court, period, to clear my name. I've heard that they wanted their day in court with TV cameras, so America could know the truth, but no, they chose to hide behind secrecy and broker a deal to circumvent the judicial system. My job as a police officer is to investigate an incident, gather evidence, gather facts, and present them to the state's attorney. That's what we did. I stand behind the detective's investigation. And the ethical cost is you have, a, as a person who was in the House of Representatives when we try to pass, the Shepard legislation that dealt with hate crimes, putting them on the books, that President Obama then signed into law. To then use those very laws and the principles and values behind the Matthew Shepard hate crimes legislation to self-promote your career is a, is a cost that comes to all the individuals, gay men and women, who will come forward and one day say they were a victim of a hate crime who now will be doubted. People of faith, Muslim or any other religious faith, will be a victim of hate crimes. People that of also of all walks of life and backgrounds, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, now this cast a shadow of whether they're telling the truth. And he did this all in the name of self-promotion. All right, forgive me for even listening to Robbie Emanuel. This is the same man who for 13 months kept from the Chicago public, the Laquan McDonald tape, the cop who shot and killed Laquan McDonald, who lied on that, who lied about what took place on that night, which we only know because the tape was forced to be released. That cop was convicted of second degree murder. So really, Rahm Emanuel, when you set up and talk about uh, this is a whitewash, when you did all you could to keep justice from being uh, held in that case, you might want to just go sit down, wait for the runoff, and then for you to leave office. But that was a, that's just another story there. But again, to watch him whining on television was a bit too much. All right. I was disgusted by what I saw from not only the superintendent. First of all, in Chicago, they saw 5% of their non-fatal shootings in Chicago. Hmm. And you look at the fact that they solve 17% of their murders. And yet, Rahm Emanuel... And as you alluded to with, with Laquan McDonald and some other cases and the fact that they have a history of torture in the Chicago Police Department. But Rahm Emanuel says that this has embarrassed our city. It's not the fact that you can't solve 95 percent of your right of your you right know, your shootings. This is what it's all Jesse Smollett. It's not the fact, you know, that you have all of these issues in the city, the fact that you have kids, you know, schools shutting down, you have kids walking across dangerous gang territory to go to school, they're scared to go to school every day. That, that it's all Jesse Smollett, that's the problem? I, I found that to be just unconscionable, disgusting from Rahm Emanuel, but I shouldn't be surprised. Can all right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Calling all HBCU alumni, students, and leaders enter the Ford Motor Company HBCU Mobility Challenge and win $25,000 for your school. Building on their long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities throughout through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant of up to $25,000 to implement their proposal. The deadline to apply is March 31st, 2019. Go to this website right here, fgb.life, for more information and to apply. Ford goes further in our community. We certainly appreciate them being a partner here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.